today it's gonna be a really random vlog with this car hope you guys enjoy but for now we're gonna be changing out the wheels again because I have a buyer that wants these for the price I'm asking them for um, excuse the really messed up paint so the reason why it's so red is because I sprayed a lot of Plasti Dip on it for Halloween. The reason why I thought it was a good idea is because my car was super dirty and that was my reasoning to why it would come off so easy. But, um, yeah. This took a like hour of pressure washing and the pressure washer that I used wasn't that good. So we're gonna have to swing by Peter's house later or some other time during the video and then get him to pressure wash everything off for me because it was kind of goofy like the, the spots that I plasti dipped looks fine um, it was when we were first trying to test out the plasti dip where you know the overspray killed the killed the paint not really killed it's just a lot of overspray and the turbo nozzle from pressure washing should get all that off let me show you what wheels i am working with today because i can't make my mind up on which wheels to keep so these are what we're working with today uh, some tesla wheels more of a monoblock look but the nice thing about these is that if you take out these center caps or not center caps but the hub face covers it's another wheel underneath so let me show you that really quick the nice thing about these is that they're eight and a half so you can run like kind of a skinny tire but so like I said, either we have a hump face cover or like a wheel cover, or we can have this, which is still pretty sick in my opinion. The specs are pretty weak. It's like eight and a half plus 40, I think, which is why it's nice of me to have some spacers laying around. So we're gonna try both and see how I like them. First, I gotta grab some wood because I'm not able to fit my jack under the diff due to the ride height I'm at. So I think my grandpa has like a crap ton of wood just laying around. So I'm gonna grab this piece and another piece over here. Probably just gonna do fronts first. Oh no, we're gonna do rears first and then fronts. So that piece, this piece, and get to move in the car. Actually, I'm gonna need some thicker wood. We got these thicker boys. I don't know if it's just me out there, but eBay spacers are the way to go. I've had these for like, like I think like two years. Nothing's wrong with them. They haven't cracked. So, you know. Now, I don't think this 15 will be enough to make it look decent. So, lots of test fitting. I think we gotta add a 30, eight millimeter. What the? much better I believe it will tuck so let's see turn this oh yup oh yup you know what I'm adding a five millimeter spacer so you gotta rotate them around sometimes because sometimes a different hole will fit better than the other one so Hey. All right, even though it fits like mint, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, maybe I just need to see some rollers of the Tesla wheels, but if the covers weren't on, then they would look better. 
I don't know. Let me just throw on the whole set and see how I feel. Wait, I don't know where I put my freaking five millimeters. Let's see if I can find them. No. No. Yes. I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. All right, we're at Peter's house. Say hi, Peter. Hi. To the camera. Hi. Hi. Want to introduce yourself and what you do? I'm Peter. Uh, I don't do anything. Okay, he details. I'm gonna stay at home, dad. Uh, <laughs> stay at home, dad. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why this one's still on is because it's uh, I got a flat coming here. I made Peter uh, push back the time for me. I also bought some of this because I f was trying to keep the paint clean, but maybe it'll help get rid of all the red marks that I sprayed with the plastic dip. Um, pretty sure his nozzle is way more pressurized than the one I was using, so this should come up. So it should come up easier. Also, this mess back here. Yeah. Here's how they look. From afar. I gotta make an Instagram reel too because I haven't posted in like two weeks. So here's a claim it. And here's the paint. Try like right here. Yeah, coming out. I don't pay you to record. I pay you to work. I'm working. I don't have two, two mitts to do it. The other one's over there. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's because I didn't look hard enough. Yeah. As you can tell, I was not able to get all of it off. I don't really mind for how much damage it's taken just because, uh, you know, the front bumper is usually the lowest part of my car when I'm driving with speed bumps, so it takes the most damage. Yeah, pressure washer that, like, really close will for sure take that off. I just, uh, we just ran out of time when I was trying to do it at Peter's house. Also, you couldn't, if you couldn't tell, I raised the car. I was just, I don't know if you guys had the same feeling of you need to change your car up a lot just to see what else would work for you um i don't like the height just because it looks a little bit off to me i like the way it sits in terms of this rear gap compared to the front gap and then how it's somewhat even in the front side skirt and the rear side skirt it's just a little nice change of pace in terms of you know is that the word i want to use it's just a nice way to see my car in a different height i would say i don't know i don't know how to word that but i actually might lower it again um because i have a different set of wheels that like barely don't fit with the amount of camber i have in the rear now in terms of the front i'm not sure with this set of wheels i'm not able to sell this as the price i wanted at so these are Loyon Loyon leon hard direct bugles bugles and the specs are 18 by 10 and a half and 18 by 10, which is a really good width in my opinion. The rears barely fit. Like it's like a couple millimeters too much poke for it not to ruin my quarter panels. Um, if I really want to go super low, you know, I can't do that unless I adjust the camber, which I am too lazy to do. Uh, I'll show like a little clip right here of how it looks with the bugles on in the rear. I didn't get, I didn't really get a side shot just because I, I don't know. I was just in the, it was in the moment and I had to do what I was doing really quick, so. Now for this car, it's drivable the way it is. It's just not drivable for long. And the reason why I mentioned, and I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, but power steering leaks. What? What do you want? Hmm? Huh? 
have a back fit to the video. And the reason why I know it's um, Travis Steering Link is because, uh, let me just show you guys. I need wood to hold this up. Ew. If you look closely, right there, look at all that oily mess. That is the idle something, 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 some control valve that runs lines from there all the way up to there and then all the way up to there. And what happens is it leaks through that valve because the rubber or whatever is like broken down. So it just leaks straight into the intake manifold, which is the reason why this is low. And I know you're supposed to be checking it. Like, look, even on the cold side, it's like low. So it leaks into the intake manifold. Over time, it's still gonna start leaking onto the, the alternator and then going kaboom. Currently looking at some rebuild kits to rebuild the whole power steering pump and take care of that mess before I have to deal with the alternator cost as well. Oh, one more thing. It has an exhaust leak. That's really annoying. I'm trying to fix it. Shouldn't be too um, difficult. I can't really find OEM gaskets for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna have to use Fel Pro. It's not as good, but I'll have to do it for now because uh, try and make this thing back to OEM in a way. I might even go as far as getting some OEM coilovers from not cold over OEM shocks and struts from a junkyard and throwing them in because they're like what 30 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna start making some Instagram content for this car. This car? Because you know why not? Just do it. My last video on Instagram got 15k likes just for me making a random reel about some in Tesla wheels on the SC300. So just do it, guys. You know, just no one's gonna do it but you, and uh, the only person that's stopping you from making that content is yourself. So just go do it. But like I was saying, that'll be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's, you know, random vlog, just a little update and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Incoming NAT build though.